Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tarleton State University's installation ceremony, celebrating the inauguration of our 16th president, Dr. James L. Hurley. At this time, we ask you to please be seated. In keeping with the dignity of today's ceremony, please silence your cell phones. Thank you. The Tarleton Wind Ensemble, led by Dr. David Robinson, will formally begin the ceremony. The processional is under the direction of University Marshals Dr. Alex Del Carmen, Dr. Melanie Loya, Dr. Denise Martinez, Dr. Julie Merriman, Dr. Kayla Peak and Dr. Chris Sloan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome delegates from colleagues and universities. Now entering the procession are representatives of learned societies and professional associations. Please welcome representatives of Tarleton's distinguished faculty and staff, followed by representatives of the student body.
Karen Murray, Executive Vice President of Academic Affairs and Provost. The Academic Deans of Tarleton State University. Dean of the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences, Dr. Steve Dameron. Dean of the College of Science and Technology, Dr. Michael Huggins. Associate Dean of the College of Graduate Studies, Dr. Credence Baker. Dean of the College of Health Sciences and Human Services, Dr. Sally Lewis. Dean of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts, Dr. Eric Mora. Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Kimberly Rynearson. Dean of the College of Business Administration, Dr. Chris Shaw. Please welcome the University Presidents Emeritus, Dr. F. Dominic Dottavio, the 15th President of Tarleton State University, and Dr. Dennis P. McKay, the 14th President of Tarleton State University. the Texas A&M University Board of Regents. Please welcome Chairman of the Board, Elaine Mendoza, and Regent, Bill Mahomes. The Texas A&M University System. The Chancellor of the Texas A&M University System, the Honorable John Sharp. Deputy Chancellor and Chief Financial Officer, Billy Hamilton. Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. James Hallmark. Executive Leadership of Tarleton State University. The Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost, Dr. Karen Murray. Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Kelly Styron. Chief Financial Officer and Vice President for Finance and Administration, Lori Beatty. Vice President for Enrollment Management, Dr. Javier Garza. Chairman of the Inauguration Planning Committee and Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Dr. Kyle McGregor. Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics, Lon Reisman. Chief of Staff, Office of the President, Dr. Kim McQuistian. Honored speakers in today's ceremony. The Honorable Pat Fallon, State Senator of District 30. The Honorable J.D. Sheffield, State Representative of District 59. The Honorable Dwayne Burns, State Representative of District 58. Texas Commissioner of Higher Education, Dr. Harrison Keller. Chancellor Emeritus, University of Tennessee, Knoxville, Dr. Jimmy Cheek. Student Body President, Ms. Tyler Schuster. The Faculty Senate President, Dr. Jared Shinawark. The Staff Council President, Ashley Ayers. Tarleton students, Daniel Mendoza and Jordan Gossett. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we welcome the 16th president of Tarleton State University, Dr. James L. Hurley and the Hurley family. 
First Lady Kendall, Drew, Carter, Blakely, and Brooklyn. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the posting of the colors by the Texan Corps of Cadets Color Guard and join in the singing of the national anthem led by the Tarleton Chamber Choir conducted by Dr. Troy Robertson. After the National Anthem, please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Dr. Mr. Daniel Mendoza, a Junior Communication Studies major from Brady, Texas. Stripes and bright scars through the perilous 
Please join me as I give the invocation. On this day, while we have all traveled different paths to be together at Tarleton, today we are of one mind and one heart in celebrating this university, new leadership, and for all we will accomplish together. As we reflect on our past and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people and institutions to whom we owe thanks. Generations of families who entrust Tarleton with the education of their students, faculty and staff who have a passion for this change, alumni and friends who support our mission and a university system, higher education system and a state who provide resources, structure and a direction. We also give thanks for a new leader and his family. During his time at Tarleton, we ask blessings upon all he does for our students. May their time spent at Tarleton fill them with the same gratitude we feel today and inspire each of us to share the spirit of this great university as it grows and prospers. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium Vice President for Institutional Advancement and Chairman of the Inauguration Planning Committee, Dr. Kyle McGregor. Thank you. Please be seated. Good morning, and it is an honor to welcome each of you to this installation ceremony as Dr. James L. Hurley is invested with the office, symbols, authority, and authority to serve Tarleton State University as our 16th president. Today's ceremony is one of many inauguration activities hosted across campus this week. However, it is the occasion that represents the Texas A&M University system and Tarleton State University's most cherished academic customs and protocols. The Tarleton family joyously celebrates the official arrival of a new leader and his family as he publicly communicates his vision for the future while embracing the history and traditions of this university. We offer hearty greeting to the members of the Tarleton family, to our students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends here at our outreach centers in Fort Worth, Waco, Midlothian, and Bryan, as well as those joining us today online. Thank you so much for joining us. As with this university's founder, we know that Texas history and culture and many of our traditions were shaped in part by settlers from the states of Tennessee and Kentucky. To that end, we extend a warm welcome to Tarleton State University's First Lady, Kendall Hurley, as we welcome, as well as we welcome the members and friends of the Hurley family who have traveled to be with us today. Would the Hurley family and friends please stand to be recognized? We also recognize that there are many special guests in the audience today. As your name is called, would you please stand and be recognized, and would the audience please hold your applause until all have been introduced. The Honorable Sid Miller, Sid Miller, Texas Commissioner of Agriculture and a Tarleton alumni. The Honorable Brian Birdwell, Texas State Senator, Senate District 22. Stephenville Mayor Doug Savine and members of the City Council, Brandon Huckabee, Mark Clinton, Alan Nix, Brady Pendleton, Nick Robinson, Ricky Thurman, and Carla Trussell. Midlothian Mayor, the Honorable Richard Reno, and representatives from the city of Midlothian. Representatives from the Texas A&M University System, Vice Chancellor for Strategic Initiatives, Greg Hartman. Vice Chancellor for Federal and State Relations, Jenny Jones. Dean, Texas A&M School of Law, Bobby Audi. Assistant Vice Chancellor for State Relations, David Rahino. College and University Chief Executive Officers, Dr. Zarina Blankenbaker, President, Tarrant County College Northwest. Dr. Bill Campion, President, Ranger College. Dr. Sandra Harper, President, McMurray University. Dr. Peter Jordan, President, Tarrant County College South. Dr. Jeanette McCowan, President, McLennan County College. High school superintendents with us today. Dr. Doug Funk, Mineral Wells ISD. Dr. Jeremy Glenn, Granberry ISD. Troy Roberts, Huckabee ISD. And Dr. Matt Underwood, Stephenville ISD. Former First Ladies of Tarleton State University are with us today. 
Dr. Lisette Dottavio, and Dr. Mary Lou McCabe. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Tarleton Alumni Association President Renee Lane and all current and past Tarleton State University Alumni Association board members. Tarleton State University Foundation President Rocky Harden, as well as all current and past members of the Tarleton State University Foundation Board. Texan Club President, the Honorable Charlie Stenholm, as well as all current and former Texan Club Board members. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking all these distinguished, distinguished individuals this morning. The Tarleton Chamber Choir is the university's premier choral ensemble made up of majors from across campus. Under the direction of Troy Robertson, singers regularly perform as part of the Tarleton Masterwork Series with the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra at Carnegie Hall and at Carnegie Hall. To perform in meeting, we are blessed. Please welcome the Tarleton Ch Chamber Choir conducted by Dr. Troy Robertson. Thank you. 
We are honored to host a number of distinguished individuals on stage to bring greetings and salutations to President Hurley. As an institution keenly focused on the success of our students, we strive always to put them first. So with that in mind, our first speaker this morning is Ms. Tyler Schuster, our student body president, who will bring greetings on behalf of our students. Tyler? Good morning, Chair Mendoza, Chancellor Sharp, and Regent Mahomes, distinguished leaders, fellow students, staff, faculty, and guests. It is a pleasure to stand before you today. I would like to thank you for joining us and welcome you to this exciting day. It has been a great honor to partner with Dr. Hurley in his foundational efforts during his tenure at Tarleton. In just the short time since we have gotten to know Dr. Hurley and his family, we have seen how quickly and naturally they embrace Tarleton as their new home. Quickly is a key word in that sentence, as I've never seen someone have so much energy that doesn't drink caffeine. <laughs> we all thought we moved at a high pace, but we quickly learned how to sprint come September. Dr. Hurley has continued to show his importance of how, students, how much students mean to him. He has been caught expressing his affinity by purchasing pizza for those studying late in the library because he felt they were sad and hungry. <laughs> He's been hosting final study break at the Trogdon House. I don't know how many people would serve tacos and s'mores together, but he did it. And don't forget Waffle Wednesday, where he served countless students a waffle this week. There's so many more things that he and his family have done for us. Those are just a few we've been able to mention. We knew he was a keeper when he survived his first Tarleton homecoming marathon. He quickly learned everything is truly bigger in Texas. He comments regularly about the size of mosquitoes and how hot it was, even in November. Regardless, students love his charm and how he engages with them on social media. I think most students have made it their personal goal to be seen on his Instagram account or to grab a quick selfie with him and the first family. Don't tell him, but we all really just want a picture with Blakely. <laughs> we have greatly enjoyed his efforts and support for all students, including those at our outreach centers, as he continuously goes to meet those students at those locations. He even insisted that this time of celebration not be about him, but about the students. Last night, a concert, dance, food truck extravaganza, and fireworks show were celebrated to host the students in his time here. Students have also been invited to join us today and are sitting amongst faculty and staff representatives representing different colleges and organizational groups. I can certainly say that great things are happening at Tarleton, and Dr. Hurley continues to be the driving force behind them. There's so much excitement and buzz going around, going to Vision One, four grand openings, inauguration, you name it, we're doing it. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, I've had the privilege to work with him and get to know his family. While I graduate in May, I, have to, I hate to step away because I'm so sad I'm going to miss all the more exciting things coming to Tarleton under his leadership. The sky is truly the limit when you have the best students in the state of Texas and a fearless leader like Dr. Hurley. So on behalf of the student body president and your fifth child, congratulations, Dr. Hurley. We look forward to continuing to see your success here at Tarleton. Well done, Tyler. Next, we welcome the Honorable Pat Fallon, State Senator from Senate District 30, to bring greetings on behalf of the Texas Senate. Senator Fallon. Thank you. Well, thank you all for having us. You know, when you come to a campus like this, this beautiful ceremony, you can't help but remember when you were in school. And it brought back some memories and some nice, some good, some uh, not so fond. And, <laughs> and one of them, uh, Doc, I was remembering was, we had this really tough professor, uh, and he was kind of cranky too, to be honest. And his, it was, not, not, not like any faculty here at Tarleton, fortunately, 
But, and his name was uh, Professor Knobloch. And the students, we didn't call him Professor Knobloch. We called him Blockhead. Uh, actually, old Blockhead. And he was not fond of that nickname at all. And you, you don't want to get caught dead using it in front of him. And then I was working at the, the reception desk on a weekend sometimes, earning a little, couple extra bucks. And we had a big test that next Monday. So I had three or four of my friends there and were studying while I was getting paid. And um, I, guess, I guess statute of limitations run out on that one. But, and the phone was ringing. And I just kept, I'll just ignore it. It's fine. It's Sunday. They'll wait. And we stu kept studying. It rang two, three times. And then finally I had to pick it up. So the third time uh, I pick it up. I said, hello. And they said, what are you all doing there? Did you pick up the phone this third time I called? I said, oh, I know. I'm just studying for old Blockhead's test tomorrow. And he said, son, do you have any idea who you're talking to? And I said, I do not. And he said, this is Professor Knobloch. And I said, oh, Professor, do you have any idea who you're talking to? <laughs> and he said, I don't. And I said, then bye-bye, Blockhead. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not up for election this term. All right, but, uh, but listen, thank you so much for having us, Chancellor Sharp, the faculty, uh, uh, Dr. Hurley, and the students. It, it's, it dawned on me, I got a three page, and I'm not gonna read this though. I, I'm sitting here and I'm looking in, in the bleachers at the students. We are all here for you. And you have so many options of youth in front of you. I'm just so excited for the decades to come. And, our job here is to light your path. And I remember a couple of years ago, I was working out, and this 18-year-old kid lifted way more than I could have. And his shirt on the back said, some people hope for the best. We work for it. An 18-year-old kid's teaching me something on a shirt he's wearing. That's it. It's not enough to hope for the best. You have to work for it. Nothing is promised to you. But that's not a curse. It's a blessing. Because you have the opportunity to live in this country. We have all already won the lottery because we're born in the greatest country history has ever known. And we were born in, and, and, or if we weren't born here, we got here as fast as we could. <laughs> Texas, the best state in the greatest country history has ever known. You have so much knowledge sitting here and it's their job to light your path moving forward. And so, I, you know, Dr. Hurley, you are obviously one of the most talented Folks, and we stole you away from another state, and we're so glad that you're here. And I just want, and you're going to be led by such a great individual. We have a little something for you from the Texas Senate. And we passed a formal resolution that's six paragraphs long, and do not worry, we're not going to read it all. But I will paraphrase it. It says, Dr. Hurley's the best thing since sliced bread. He's, he's super awesome. He invented the internet, although I think it was Al Gore, but whatever. And he has a beautiful family, and he's in a great university, and then I even signed it in gold ink. So if, uh, and we also did something else that was kind of neat, as, as, as Senator Birdwell knows, uh, uh, and so does Representative Sheffield and Burns. We don't do this this often, but we did fly a flag at the Capitol uh, in honor of Dr. James Hurley and Tarleton University and you students. So I'd like to, if I could, present this to the man who invented the wheel, Dr. James Hurley. <laughs> And then the flag. Okay. Thank you all. God bless. Thank you, Senator Fallon. The Honorable J Dr. J.D. Sheffield of House District 59 will now bring greetings from the Texas House of Representatives. Dr. Sheffield. Good morning. I'm J.D. Sheffield, State Representative for House District 59. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to be here today to participate in the inauguration of Tarleton's new president, Dr. James Hurley. It is my pleasure on behalf of District 59 to welcome both you, Dr. Hurley, and your family to Texas and the Tarleton State University family. 
During my terms as representative, Dr. Dottavio, Dr. McGregor, the staff, and the student body have always made my staff and me feel welcome on campus. And although I am not an alumni, I have always been made to feel like part of the Tarleton family. I had, I've had the privilege to work with Dr. Dottavio to secure tuition revenue bonds, fund new development, add many degrees and new programs, and this past legislative session with the help of administration, faculty, and generous donors, we started the Tarleton State University House District 59 internship program. My office had an incredible young lady named Marissa who interned for us. She has now left our office and is studying for law school in the JAG program. It was a great experience for us and hopefully for her. There is no greater testament to Tarleton than its students and alumni. Many of the Tarleton students come from the eight counties of District 59. A large number, including Dr. Hurley, are first-generation college students. All of my chiefs of staff have been Tarleton alumni. Tarleton is a place of tradition. I've learned a few of them over the past few years, like Purple Poo. Hi, Purple Poo. <laughs> Tarleton is a place where students can earn a quality and affordable education, and many of them also find a home, a community where they settle to work, live, and play, where they start a career and a family. Dr. Hurley has great ideas and dreams for this university. As representative, I'm excited to see what lies ahead for Tarleton State University and excited to help him in any way I can. In the small amount of time I have known him, Tyler, I too have learned that he is bright, energetic, full of big ideas, one of those guys that takes the stairs two at a time. I've seen his social media where he's running bright and early at dark hours of the morning with a track team or making pancakes for students. Purple color, of course. I know he will do great things for Tarleton State University because he has already done great things. In medicine, we call this proven quality outcomes, and it's the best you can get. So once again, let me say welcome, Dr. Hurley, to you and your family. We offer you our friendship and support, and we look forward to a bright future under your leadership. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Dr. Sheffield. Next, please welcome alumni, parent, donor, and state representative from House District 58, the Honorable Dwayne Burns, to bring greetings to President Hurley. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, new beginnings. So I, I remember the day I was sworn in uh, into the Texas House. A few minutes after we took the oath of office, I was greeted by my state senator, Senator Brian Birdwell. And he came over, had some words of wisdom. He said, uh, man, this place is awesome, isn't it? And I said, yes, sir. He said, you're probably wondering, how in the world did I ever get here? And I said, yes, sir. He goes, well, just give it a little time. You'll ask the same question about the rest of these people in this building. <laughs> But how did we get here? You know, that's the thing is how did we get here? How did I get here? 26 years ago, Dr. McCabe was handing me my diploma right here. Here and now, I have two sons that attend this university. I married a Tarleton graduate. My mom is a Tarleton graduate. It took her a long time to get there, but she did. I've got another daughter on the way. She'll be here in a couple years, so y'all get ready for her. She's something else. Um, <laughs> She's great. She's great. She's better than the two boys put together. But uh, not really. I love them all. Uh, but here's the deal. So I, I, I was nervous when Dr. Dottavio was stepping down and resigning because he's one of us. And I know his passion for Tarleton. So, and I've only got one friend from Tennessee. It's a lifelong friend, cherish the relationship, but it's really more testament into my ability to handle adversity than anything else, I think. So I wasn't real sure, but I'll tell you what, it didn't take me long when I met this gentleman to think, man, he kind of like us. We got to talking about our backgrounds and he, he understands what it means to come from the dirt like me. Man, he's, he's kind of like us. He started talking to me about his vision for the university 
the next level, not only in athletics, but education. He started talking to me about the opportunity for students that don't come from elite backgrounds, that don't come from wealth like us. He started, I, I quickly saw his dedication to family and how his kids are the love of his life and he cherishes his wife. I thought, man, that's, that's cool. That's something we hold dear. I thought about my faith and I thought about the message Jesus gave the apostles when he said, even the Son of Man was not sent here to be served, but to serve and lay down his life as a ransom for many. This man is a man of faith. He's just like us. He keeps his word. He works hard. Every time I call this man, and we have we share strange hours, so we get texts, we send texts back and forth, you know, one in the morning, five in the morning, whatever, whenever we can get to it. And I know he's out working. He's usually either on his way to an event to be with students, at an event with students, or leaving an event where students were. Because he thinks it's important to get out there and know our customers. And know how we can get better and how they can get better. He's one of us. So, I'm just proud. I'm proud to be an alumni. I'm proud of what this university is doing. And I'm proud Chancellor Sharp and the Board of Regents and the folks that went out and found this guy from Tennessee. I'm proud that you went out and found one of us. And you know what? Based on what I've seen out of Dr. Hurley, it might not be a bad idea for us to be a little bit like him. So congratulations, Dr. Hurley. Look forward to working with you. And thank you for being here and thank you to his family. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Burns. What do you think about our three elected officials up here that are representatives? I, uh, I know we have more in the audience, but I was giving the three of them where we were robing earlier, them a hard time. I didn't recognize them in academic regalia. They look pretty good. So yeah, <laughs> thanks, guys. I'm delighted now to introduce the Texas Commissioner of Higher Education, Dr. Harrison Keller. To bring greetings from the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board, please welcome Commissioner Keller. Good morning. I'm Harrison Keller, and on behalf of the Texas Higher Ed Coordinating Board and our great state of Texas, I want to offer Dr. James Hurley our warm welcome and congratulations. We're going to look back on this time as one of the most dynamic and most important in the history of American and Texas higher education. This is a time when the expectations of and the need for higher education have never been greater. This is a time when our colleges and universities are called to enroll and educate more people to higher, higher standards than we've ever done before. And this is a time when our colleges and university leaders have to work together across traditional disciplinary and institutional boundaries to accelerate the pace of innovation in teaching, learning, and discovery. The future of our great state and our nation will depend on how well we unlock the potential of Texas talent. So all Texans, regardless of race, ethnicity, income, or geography, can participate in, benefit from, and contribute to our Texas future. And this university holds a special place in my heart, not only because of the great progress you're making and the exciting things ahead, but because we're entrusting our family, my niece Madeline, to your care, who will enroll as a freshman in this next fall. And so to the distinguished leaders and the Tarleton faculty, I want to say thank you. There haven't been many times in the history of higher education when you've had such an opportunity to make such an impact for the future. I want to commend Chancellor Sharp, Chair Mendoza, and the a and System Board of Regents on their selection. I've enjoyed meeting and texting with Dr. James Hurley, and I appreciate that he's deeply committed 
to expanding opportunity for Tarleton students, for this community, and for our state. So welcome, President Hurley. I look forward to working with you and to supporting your success. Thank you, Commissioner Keller. To bring welcome on behalf of Tarleton's distinguished faculty, please welcome Dr. Jared Shinnewark, our faculty senate president. Jared. It has been my great pleasure to serve as faculty senate president this year, and part of that pleasure arises because I've gotten to have a chance to know and meet with President Hurley. President and Mrs. Hurley, Drew, Carter, Blakely, and Brooklyn. On behalf of the faculty at Tarleton State, I extend a warm welcome. We are glad you are here. A number of the buildings on campus bear the name of former faculty members. We are honored this morning to meet in such a building, Wisdom Gym, named after W.J. Wisdom, a former coach, but also department chair and faculty member of the Department of Physical Education. The names on these buildings demonstrate that Tarleton State has recognized the influence and importance of faculty to the university. Faculty members engage students in classrooms, mentor student research projects, and spend countless hours opening up a new vision to students about who they can become and what they can achieve. Faculty nurture student dreams. Often when students leave, they don't always remember the lessons but they remember faculty members who believed in them and encouraged them to take another step. President Hurley recognizes this truth. Early on, he stated that it is important to invest in the people of the university, and he has taken steps to make that happen. I am grateful for his work. As I've been around President Hurley, my observations are that he is a man who is concerned about others. He opens doors for others. He's willing to step aside on the sidewalk so others don't have to. He says hello to those he meets, whether to people in the community, students, staff, or faculty. Even though he can have a very tight schedule, he is willing to take time to listen, to give a word of encouragement, and to do that which is right. I find him to be a man without guile. Many years ago, I heard a talk from a gentleman named Gordon B. Hinckley. He talked about the loneliness of leadership. I know the loneliness that comes from, from our leaders does exist. You have many decisions to make, President Hurley, and stakeholders to satisfy. It is my hope that as you work with the faculty, you may never feel that loneliness. That as we toil together, Tarleton will be a great place to work, a great university that blesses the lives of students, staff, faculty, and their families, that under your leadership, Tarleton State University will be a place where dreams come true. Thank you, Dr. Shinnewark. Tarleton is blessed to have an exceptional and dedicated staff. To bring welcome on their behalf, please welcome Ashley Ayers, Staff Council President. Ashley. On behalf of Staff Council, I would like to welcome faculty, staff, students, distinguished guests, the Board of Regents, Texas A&M representatives, Chancellor Sharp, and most importantly, Dr. Hurley and the First Family. It is a great honor to serve as Staff Council President and an even greater honor to speak during the celebration of the inauguration of Tarleton State University's 16th President, Dr. James L. Hurley. Our staff are con committed contributors to the mission here at Tarleton State University and Staff Council is the principal means of communication between the staff and the administration. We focus on the university core values and strive to lead with ex excellence, serve with integrity, and continue Tarleton traditions through civility. We are student focused and driven to enhance the student experience each and every day. In his short time here, we have witnessed Dr. Hurley enthusiastically, enthusiastically exhibit these same values and are excited to continue working with him for years to come as we grow together towards a bright future. 
His energetic and positive spirit have put a glow around campus, and we delight in seeing both him and his family interacting with the Tarleton family on a regular basis. His investment in the future of this university has been very apparent from the moment he stepped onto campus in the president role. He hit the ground running last August and hasn't looked back. We look forward to growing Tarleton's name and reputation as a leading university in Texas and beyond while continuing to watch our students go out and change the world. In closing, and on behalf of the staff members here at Tarleton State University, we would like to thank you for your support of the university staff and welcome you wholeheartedly to the Tarleton family. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ayers. To bring welcome on behalf of institutions of higher education represented today, please welcome Tarleton alumni, Chancellor Emeritus, and Distinguished Professor of Leadership and Policy Studies at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, Dr. Jimmy Cheek. Thank you very much. It's certainly a pleasure for me to be here to bring greetings from the delegates that are assembled here today to you, President James L. Hurry. Hurley, <laughs> sorry about that. And to congratulate you on being named the 16th president of Tarleton State University. And James, I bring a very special greeting to you from one of our friends, Tennessee volunteer head basketball coach, Rick Barnes says congratulations. <clears throat> Today I represent the delegates, and we represent some of the oldest universities in the country and some of the newest representatives in the country. I represent the oldest institution, the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, home of the Tennessee Volunteers and founded in 1794 and is one of the founding members of the Southeast Conference, the SEC. It's usually simply known as the University of Tennessee. We have another representative today from Texas A&M University, Central Texas. That institution was founded in 2009 and is the newest institution represented today. Mr. President, I'd like to take a couple of minutes to say that you have an excellent vision for Tarleton. You aspire to make Tarleton a better place over the next decade. You have expressed a bold vision to lead a comprehensive regional university into the nation's best. You aspire to be the first choice institution of the region, attracting the region's best students. As you know, Mr. President, education is a great game changer, and it's a great equalizer. Graduating from college creates unlimited opportunities, and I know this firsthand. I enrolled at Tarleton State University in the fall of 1965 as a freshman, completed two years of study here, and transferred to Texas A&M University and completed my Bachelor of Science degree in 1969. A few years later, I completed at that institution my PhD. <clears throat> when I came to Tarleton, I knew this was a special place. I'm the first, I am a first generation college student. I had very little college knowledge. I didn't know how college worked, I didn't know what to do in college. I didn't know how to navigate college successfully. But here at Tarleton, I found outstanding faculty, staff, and administrators who were interested in student success. And more importantly, they were interested in my success and my future. The faculty taught rigorous courses, were available to advise and counsel me, to help me solve problems, to help me think about my future. This institution made a significant impact on me. 
It transformed my life. It is a very special place. And President Hurley, I would like to say that special places only remain special if they continue to evolve. Your job is to make certain that that evolution is well planned and ongoing. In doing so, Tarleton will become a better place in the future than it is today. President Emeritus DeTavio worked very hard to lay a solid foundation for this institution. Mr. President, you can build your dreams on that foundation. Now it's time to put your plans into action and accomplish your phenomenally ambitious dreams. President Hurley, as delegates, we are delighted that you are at Tarleton as the 16th president. We wish you well. We are pleased that you and your family have joined the Tarleton family. Good luck and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Cheek. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in saying thank you to all of our distinguished individuals on stage who have just spoken. We now carry out the historic function of investing a university president with the office, symbols, and authority representing the duties and responsibilities associated with the role. Following her remarks and with the assistance from Presidents Emeritus McCabe and Dottavio, Chairman of the Board of Regents for the Texas A&M University System, Elaine Mendoza, will present to President Hurley with the Presidential Chain of Leadership. Following this presentation, Chancellor of the Texas A&M University System, John Sharp, will, will officially invest President Hurley with the Office of President. Following his remarks and with the assistance of Regent Bill Mahomes, Chairman of the Presidential Search Committee, Chancellor Sharp will present Dr. Hurley with the Presidential Medallion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman of the Board of Regents for the Texas A&M University System, Elaine Mendoza. Thank you, Dr. McGregor. And good morning, Texans. You ready for this? All right, let's get it done. Thank you all for joining the celebration of today's momentous event and what a great day it is here at Tarleton, for it is today, today, that the Texas A&M University System welcomes President Hurley as the 16th president of this great Tarleton State University. We are so excited. Dr. Hurley has proven his merit as instructor, professor, dean, vice president, and president at other institutions of higher education. And as a first generation college graduate, he also has a perspective on higher education that just cannot be taught in the classroom. Dr. Hurley's high energy and high expectation make him the perfect person to lead Tarleton to the next level. Yes, even higher, even higher than it is today. We are confident Tarleton's future will continue to thrive, and our confidence isn't based in maybes and hopefullys. No, no. Our confidence is based in history, both the history of Tarleton's success and the history of Dr. Hurley delivering results. As a founding member of the Texas A&M University Systems, Tarleton has a long and proud record of educating Texans and creating opportunities and upward mobilities for its graduates. Tarleton continues to have the highest graduation rate of all the regional institutions in the A&M system, thanks to their tireless focus and efforts to enhance student success. Make no mistake, even greater things are ahead as Tarleton continues to expand into Fort Worth and begins to compete as a Division I school. We know, we know the best is yet to come for Tarleton State University. The Texas A&M University system has great, great expectations for Dr. Hurley. I mean, no pressure. <laughs> Dr. Hurley 
We put our trust in you to fulfill the duties and obligations of the president, the office of the president of Tarleton University with integrity and excellence. President Hurley, would you please come forward and would Drs. McCabe and Octavio, the 14th and 15th presidents of Tarleton, please join me. I'm now honored to present you with the chain of leadership, which signifies the link between Tarleton's heritage and its preeminent future. The names of all presidents, beginning with William H. Bruce, are engraved in the chain panels. The chain of leadership is infused with tradition and honor. It is a symbol of presidential leadership and its link to faculty, staff, and of course, our students. Now, on behalf of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, and behalf of the Office of the Chancellor, as an expression of our confidence in your ability to discharge multiple duties of your office with high principles and moral strength, I present you with this chain of leadership as a symbol of the office of the President of Tarleton State University. Good morning, fellow Texans. I'm John Sharp, Chancellor of the Texas A&M System, and I only had one request before I came here today, and that is don't make me follow either Pat Fallon or Elaine Mendoza. <laughs> and it wasn't granted. Uh, following the two of them, frankly, is like being Elizabeth Taylor's seventh husband. I miss it. <laughs> But it is wonderful to be here with all of you for this beautiful campus. If you look around this campus, uh, there is no be more beautiful campus in the state of Texas than the Tarleton State University campus, period. And better, and better than that, I would suggest to you that there is no better culture than the students and the student body of what this campus is about and young men and women dedicated to Texas. And all of these great facilities that we have here, uh, including the new engineering building and all of the wonderful things that, uh, that we all see uh, and appreciate, would not be here except for the fact that we have been blessed and are blessed with some state legislators that provide the resources and work their tails off to make that happen. And I hope you will join me in giving a, another round of applause to Senator Pat Fallon, to Representative Burns, uh, to Representative Sheffield, and to our neighbor, neighboring Senator Birdwell from Granbury. Thank you for, for all you do for us. So, my job here today is to read some very specific words. And if I don't read these words, he don't become president. <laughs> And I'm going to read them in a minute, but I want to talk about this president. Um, I think that before his term is over with, he will go down as one of the greatest presidents at any Texas university uh, in the history of this state because of the enthusiasm that I have seen in the first few months of, of his reign. Just think about it. Uh, he's already made a lasting impact. I jotted down a few things. The Tarrant County Community College Agreement, which is a 25-year agreement to share space in downtown Fort Worth was signed. It moved to Division I, which I predict Tarleton will dominate within the next few years when that starts. Uh, guaranteed scholarships for fall 2020 freshmen who graduate in the top 25%. I think he's visited every public school at least once in, in this entire area. Uh, as a first-generation graduate himself uh, that came from uh, humble means, he understands the barriers, is dedicated to helping students overcome and achieve. 
and shortly, maybe even today, he may have some things to say about that. But he understands how education transforms lives, particularly for first-generation kids. What first-generation students do for their family is really immeasurable because when a first-generation student graduates from college and nobody before him has ever done it, then the whole dinner table conversation changes from are you going to college to where are you going to college. And it is a, an amazing transformation that happens in all of our families. We have great expectations and we know that he's going to fulfill them. And so I would ask that, uh, that uh, Regent Mahomes and President Hurley come up here. I'm honored to present the Presidential Medallion, which signifies our trust in you. The medallion is infused in tradition and honor and is a symbol of responsibility to inspire, mentor, and serve the students of this great institution. Now, this is the part that the state legislature requires me to read word for word. Now, on behalf of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents and on behalf of the Office of Chancellor, as an expression of our confidence in your ability to discharge the multiple duties of your office with high principles and moral strength, I present you with this medallion as a symbol of the office of the president of Tarleton State University. So I, I only had one request of him, by the way, and that request was, I called him Saturday night and I said, what do you want me to talk about? And he said, I, I want you to talk about two minutes. And so <laughs> I get the gravity of it. But ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 16th president of Tarleton State University, James Hurley. Thank you so much. And apparently it's time to go to work now. <laughs> so faculty, staff, executive team, we better find another gear and get to work now that I am officially the president. Chair Mendoza and the Texas A&M Board of Regents, Chancellor John Sharp, distinguished legislative and state leaders, presidents and representatives of institutions of higher education, my friends and colleagues and the faculty and staff, our Purple Hearted alumni and the central reason for our labor each day, our incredible student body, I am honored, humbled, and thankful to serve as the 16th president of Tarleton State University. This is a call to servant leadership that I take very seriously. Tarleton is a special place blessed with 120 years of traditions and values that I promise to protect and propel in the days ahead. A special thank you to all in attendance at this inauguration celebration. As you have welcomed my family and me over the past seven months, so too do I welcome you in the spirit of our founder, John Tarleton. Chancellor Sharp, thank you for your leadership, your support, but more importantly, your friendship. We are fortunate to be part of the A&M system, the best scholastic hierarchy, in my opinion, in all of higher education. Chancellor Sharp, you told me during our first conversation, you'll love Tarleton. The chancellor was right. Well, the chancellor's always right, <laughs> but this is an easy place to love. Thank you. Chair Mendoza, Thank you for taking time from your personal and professional life to share in this special moment. The leadership and commitment from our Board of Regents to ensure student success across our entire system is unparalleled. Regents Mendoza and Mahomes, 
We appreciate your efforts, and we're thankful you're here. And my heartfelt thanks to my family, my beautiful wife, Kendall, her love, support, and patience, and patience, (laughs) and patience means everything to me. I'm a little biased, but I think she is the very best first lady in all of the, all of the world. To our four children, Drew, Carter, Blakely, and Brooklyn, who make me so proud each day. You are my inspiration to work harder, think smarter, and dream more boldly for your sake and for the millions of young people you will share this world with. Will you please stand and be recognized? To our friends and family who traveled here to be with us today, thank you for your love and support. And last but not least, thank you to my parents, Frank and Carolyn, who instilled in me an unwavering work ethic and a passion to put the needs of others first. Many of you know that I am a first-generation college graduate, a proud first-generation college graduate. My parents did not attend college, but they sacrificed so much so I could. They selflessly did without so my brother and I would have a better future. Mom and Dad, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please stand. I stand before you today and will pronounce tidbits of quickly learned historical facts, garnered folk legends, tales of how things used to be, the state of Tarleton today, and where we will be 10, 25, or even 50 years from now. Truth is, I'm still learning and continuing each day to fall more in love with this place we all call our Tarleton home. So I really don't know what I'm talking about. But since you're all here, just play along. Honestly, I want this ceremony and weekend to be less about me and more about our institution, our legacy, our traditions, our present, and our future. This symbolic ceremony serves to showcase the importance and significance of our institution to the communities we and region we serve. This day belongs to Mr. Tarleton and to each of you. John Tarleton set out from Tennessee with his pet duck, Oscar P., to settle here in Texas. A prominent businessman and philanthropist, he left a large portion of his estate to establish a college right here in Stephenville. The asset conversion was approximately $85,000, and the money was used to launch this great institution. Kendall and I selfishly believe that Mr. Tarleton is looking down on us today with some sense of pride. No. We did not walk from Knoxville, Tennessee, and we sure didn't bring a pet duck with us, Chancellor. But we did bring Blakely, (laughs) by all counts, a bona fide poo wannabe, and who raises the spirit of Oscar P. from our living room at the Trogdon House on regular occasion. For many of our first-time visitors today, please know that Tarleton has experienced challenging and difficult times over the years but always with outstanding leadership to keep us grounded at the highs and optimistic during the lows. Two previous presidents are still with us, and they're on this stage with me today. You've met Dr. McCabe and Dr. Dottavio. During each of their leadership tenures, this institution soared to new heights. They led the assembly of faculty experts, staff leaders, transformational infrastructure, and extraordinary enrollment growth. I stand on the shoulders of these two giants. To each of them, I say, job well done. Would you please stand and allow us to share our appreciation for each of you.
Of course, they were not alone. Goodbye, Blakely. <laughs> Their wives faithfully served our university as its first ladies. Dr. Mary Lou McCabe and Dr. Lisette DeTavio, please stand and allow us to say thank you. They are seated on the front row with their family. Now I expect a louder applause for these two opposed to their husbands. We appreciate each of you and we thank you for your many and varied contributions to Tarleton. Since our inception as John Tarleton College in 1899, our institution has experienced tremendous growth. We were the first to join the Texas A&M system in 1917 and remain the second largest university. We are proud of our agricultural heritage and our College of Ag and Environmental Sciences remains a cornerstone with nationally distinguished programs and accolades. I am thankful for our loyal alumni and former students who paved a smoother path for us all. Time will not allow me to name everyone, but I do want to quickly mention a few. Dr. Jimmy Cheek, we heard from the Chancellor earlier. Last July, Chancellor Cheek and I sat in a restaurant in downtown Knoxville discussing Tarleton State University. It was during that conversation he convinced me that Tarleton was the place to be. He beamed with passion and pride as he described his alma mater. Well, Dr. Cheek, here we are. You're to blame. <laughs> Your insights were spot on once again. Chancellors are always right. In addition, others like Dr. Dwayne Mayfield, Miss Marilyn Johansson, and Dr. Mike A. Myers, who have long embraced the spirit of this university and enthusiastically give of their time, their talent, and their treasure. Would those three, along with all of our alumni and former students, please stand and allow us to say thank you for continuing to bleed purple. I ask that Miss Nancy Golden Turley please remain standing. Nancy was our first female student government association president. She broke that glass ceiling to give other young women like Tyler the opportunity to be on this stage today. Nancy, thank you for always bleeding purple. Let us now turn our attention to the Tarleton of today. The Tarleton of today is the evolution of a storied history of providing educational access and opportunity. We currently serve 13,176 students, representing more than 1,225 high schools from across Texas, 226 Texas counties, 43 states, and 31 countries. We continue to educate 55% of first-generation students and nearly 40% of our students receive the federal Pell Grant, which represents the greatest of financial need. Therefore, Commissioner Keller, I attest that we are fulfilling our founder's mission and helping meet the great need for educational attainment. I have quickly fallen in love with the many traditions at Tarleton. We own unique student organizations like the Plowboys, Defenders of the Homecoming Bonfire, the largest in Texas, I might add, Pankus, which brings cheer and excitement to our athletic events, and the state's oldest spirit organization, the Purple Poo. I'm wearing your socks today, Purple Poo. We are especially proud of our Texan Corps of Cadets and ROTC program. We are faithfully training the next generation of military and civic leaders right here at Tarleton State. Would our Corps of Cadets Current and former military members, please stand. Join me in expressing our thanks and gratitude for their service. Applause. 
We are proud of our legacy of traditional events like Duck Camp, Howdy Week, Founders Week, Service Week, and of course, Homecoming Week. Where else can you find a university that spends seven days, 24 hours a day, eating purple pancakes, building, then burning a bonfire, <laughs> watching our fraternity and sorority members yell their lungs out, and of course, the never-ending beating of the drum. <laughs> and oh yes, you better wear purple on Thursdays. I asked Ms. Tyler Schuster, our SGA president, and all students gathered here today to please stand. You are the reason we do what we do. You have welcomed my family and me with loving, open arms. For that, please accept our most sincere thank you. Today, over 1,600 Tarleton faculty and staff members pour their heart and soul into ensuring our students are prepared for success when they leave our gates. Our dedicated faculty teach our students throughout our six campus sites. They are engaged in various research projects, study abroad trips, and service learning opportunities across our seven colleges. Our staff members are investing daily in the mentoring and service aspects of ensuring our students receive the greatest of care. I have witnessed countless acts of our faculty and staff going above the call of duty. Would our outstanding and dedicated faculty and staff members please stand. Thank you for your efforts and your de devotion. We have accomplished much together over the past seven months or so. For starters, we were one of only 119 colleges and universities nationwide and the only school in the A&M system to receive the Carnegie Foundation of the Advancement of Teaching's prestigious 2020 Community Engagement Classification. It illustrates the importance of our commitment to the university's six core values. We opened our new Fort Worth location, launched our first PhD degree program, acquired the Texas Center for Community Journalism, cut the ribbon on our state-of-the-art animal and plants, plant sciences center, and signed a new partnership agreement with our friends at Tarrant County College. After arriving in Texas, I embarked on a people and place learning tour. Dr. Garza and I have visited more than 75 regional high schools and community college partners. I've enjoyed learning about the special towns, communities, and schools across our great state. And meeting some of our distinguished Tarleton College of Education graduates, each positively leading the next generation. We have joined with 15 ISDs with more in the pipeline to launch the Distinguished High School Partnership Program. Working alongside superintendents, principals, and counselors, we're creating seamless pathways of enrollment and enhanced scholarship opportunities in our service region. This program is a true game changer for our university and regional ISDs. Will all of our P-12 leaders and teachers gathered here today please stand and allow us to thank you for your support. Many of you have heard about our major scholarship investment to help alleviate the escalating cost of a college education. Under the President's Guaranteed Award Program, or better known as the GAP Scholarship, our institutional commitment will, ne will ne nearly double this fall, making us one of the most affordable universities in Texas. And one more big thing. On July 1st, we will officially become an NCAA Division I institution as a member of the tradition-rich Western Athletic Conference, better known as the WAC. As our students jokingly put it, things just got a little wacky at Tarleton. <laughs> this move without question will raise our institutional profile by allowing us to compete on a broader national stage. It will add at value to a Tarleton State University degree.
So what's next? What will the tomorrow, Tarleton of tomorrow look like? For starters, we will remain deeply committed to the mission of being a university of opportunity. We will increase our status as a first choice destination for the students across our region and our state. However, with national student debt rising over $1.5 trillion, we must do more to make a college degree more affordable. Today, we are proud to announce another giant step. I am pleased to introduce the Tarleton Promise Scholarship. This scholarship will cover the cost of tuition, fees, room, board, and books for our most needy students. Our investment will drastically impact educational attainment levels across our region and state. Beginning in the fall, students that demonstrate academic ability and financial need will be eligible. These are often our first generation low socioeconomic underrepresented, underrepresented students. This investment will assist in breaking the perpetual cycle of poverty that so many of our families face. The Tarleton Promise program solidifies the dream of our founder to create an institution of access and opportunity. The value of the investment could potentially top out at nearly $6 million annually. A special thank you to our Tarleton State Foundation and the Chancellor Century Council for helping support this worthwhile endeavor. We're in the process of launching three initiatives that will forever shape the future of our university. The first is, devel is developing our 2030 strategic plan. We want to control our de destiny and create a pathway for the future. Our emphasis will be on strategy, innovation, and impact. As part of our planning process, I will charge our academic leadership and faculty with reimagining our curriculum and creating 22nd century programmatic initiatives with an emphasis on meeting workforce needs while providing gainful employment opportunities for our graduates. The second is to strategically enhance and grow our research portfolio. It is with great excitement that I announced the creation of the Center for Research, Innovation, and Economic Development. It is our desire to be the leading university in faculty-led student research, faculty-led student research at the comprehensive regional level. Our university has a social and economic responsibility to drive regional innovation and job creation. We will enthusiastically step up and meet these needs as we continue our pursuit of becoming a Carnegie Tier 2 research institution. Our third priority is the cultivation and launching of a comprehensive capital campaign. Our goal is $100 million to invest more resources into human capital, student success initiatives, scholarship, faculty and staff development, and campus infrastructure. For our campaign to be successful, we'll need your support. We need your time, your talent, and your treasure to help us become the premier comprehensive regional university in the nation. We can do it, and we will. These three bold initiatives, priorities for a transformational tomorrow, firmly solidify our status as a premier national university. After all, we are the institution that continues to provide life-changing, hope-lifting opportunities for the region we serve. In closing, once again, I thank you for helping make this day so special. Our family has fallen in love with Tarleton, and we are proud to be part of the Texan nation. May God bless Tarleton State University. May each of you forever bleed purple and roll Texans. Thank you so very much. Thank you, President Hurley, for your energy and inspiring vision. Definitely, the Tarleton family is committed to your leadership and looks forward to the benefits it will provide our students.
To celebrate, we once again welcome the Tarleton Chamber Choir to perform an original piece composed by Dr. Troy Robertson, The Arena. It is adapted from, the President, from President Theodore Roosevelt's famous speech, The Man in the Arena. Dr. Robertson. It is not the critic who counts, not those who point out how the strong stumble. Where the doer of deeds could have done them better, the credit belongs to the one who enters the arena, whose face is marked by sweat and blood, whose shines ever more valiantly. benediction, please welcome Ms. Jordan Gossett, a senior kinesiology major and vice president of the Student Government Association from Richland Springs, Texas. Jordan. Please join me as I give the benediction. As we close this celebration, we ask for blessings and peace for all in attendance. May our hearts be filled with pride for this institution and hope for the positive changes it will make in the lives of generations of students and their families. I ask for blessings and guidance for Dr. Hurley, his family, and his presidency. May wisdom guide his work and may students always be at the heart of his actions. Finally, we ask that the core values of this university are reflected by all who are members of the Tarleton family as we act with integrity, standing up for what is right, serve and lead others with compassion, foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion, respect and shape traditions for our time, set a standard of excellence, and strive always to reach it. We ask for blessings upon each of you and blessings upon Tarleton State University. Amen. Thank you, Jordan. In just a few moments, we will conclude the ceremony with a formal recessional. Before we conclude, I want to thank Dr. Troy Robertson, as well as Dr. David Robinson, that's never confusing, along with the members of the Tarleton Chamber Choir, as well as the Tarleton Wind Ensemble, for making today's event so special. Thank you. I would also like to thank the inauguration and gala planning, leadership, and host committees. These groups of faculty, staff, community members, and donors have worked very hard to make this week's event a huge success. We look forward to tomorrow's inauguration gala and the many exciting announcements and honors it has in store for all of us. Let's say thank you to them. <laughs> to close today's ceremony, I once again ask the, Char the Tarleton Chamber Choir and Wind Ensemble to lead the color song our university alma mater. The words are in the back of your program, and we encourage the audience to sing along. 
but please remain at your seats while the platform group leads the recessional. Gentlemen, please remove your caps, and again, I ask all who are able to please rise for the singing of the color song and recessional. Thank you again for joining us for this special occasion.